press freedom press freedom kayo yung number one magnanakaw ay nyo sa uli yung propiedad press freedom you you're bullshit you mukha kayong pera kakapal ang mukha ninyo kayong taga media you know you want to know my sentiments fuck you fuck you fuck you Rappler, since you are uh, a fake uh, news uh, outlet, then uh, I am not surprised that your articles are also fake. The Securities and Exchange Commission has ordered the closure. The Securities and Exchange closure Commission orders the revocation of our certificate of incorporation of online news site on now. Please join me in applauding Maria Ressa, the 2018 laureate of the Golden Pen of Freedom. It is a great honor and pleasure to present the first Gwen Ifill Award to Maria Ressa. Please welcome Maria Ressa. It comes at a crucial time when our organization and Philippine democracy are struggling to survive. We've written a lot about our two battlefronts, a brutal drug war, tens of thousands killed, and the exponential lies on social media that incite hate and stifle free speech. We battle impunity from the Philippine government and from Facebook both seed violence, fear, and lies that poison our democracy. Those lies on social media form the basis of the government's many legal cases against us. I'm going to challenge the process, and I'm going to challenge the charges. Uh, bring it, and I'll face it. I'm going to hold my government accountable for publicly calling me a criminal. I am not a criminal. I have been a journalist my entire life. I will continue to hold the government accountable. And we'll never interfere with the function of the judiciary as well as the other branch. If the judiciary finds probable cause for an information filed, then we have to respect the law on the matter. So the president has nothing to do with it? Sir. Oh, definitely. Grappler pays the right taxes. We are certainly not a dealer in securities. We remain and have always been a new school. To the journalists and activists who continue to fight, we have to stay the course. Sometimes people say you're naive or you're foolish. People say that about us. We're not. These times require that because Without hope, we have no energy to move forward. So we have to take the long view, work together, know we're not alone. This is a global battle. When President Trump called CNN and the New York Times fake news. Another question, Mr. President, if I may, if I may ask Peter, one other ahead. question, are you worried? Of, That's enough. That's Mr. enough. President, I, That's well, enough. Ask one of the, the other folks That's had, enough. Pardon me. A week later, President Duterte called Rappler fake news. Our team has learned to live with these attacks, and they show up. <laughs> they show up every day to fight back. This award is for them. You don't really know who you are until you're forced to fight to defend it, right? Until you're forced to fight then every battle you win or lose, every compromise you choose to make or to walk away from, all these struggles define the values you live by and ultimately who you are. We at Rappler decided that when we look back at this moment a decade from now, we will have done everything we could. We did not duck. We did not hide. We are Rappler, and we will hold the line.